Well, George Bolton, part owner of uh, The Factor, runs here on Saturday. You must be very excited to be here. Oh, very excited, and I uh, just heard from Bob Baffert that he's doing well. He gets out of the hospital tomorrow, and he should be here tomorrow afternoon. And the factor just jogged on the track, had a nice work here the other day, so all systems go. Now, you're not a stranger to, to Dubai. You, you've been here before? I uh, did not come when Curlin ran. I'd sold uh, Curlin right before uh, he ran here, uh, but um, I'm feeling comfortable that Bob and the crew have done it before, and um, obviously we're all excited to be here for the first time. Now looking at the Golden Shaheen, tell us about your horse, he's a very speedy type. He is, I think that, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's, a, he's won from six furlongs to a mile and a sixteenth. I think it would be nice for him to get in a nice rhythm, the three or first three or four furlongs. Um, he'll be close to it, doesn't have to be on the lead. And I think um, I'd see him probably just off the, the pace setters for the first half of the race and hopefully he finishes. Draw him one of the middle gates, what will the tactics be, do you think, to try and go forward? I think he um, will be pretty close to it halfway through the race and never too far back, it's usually how he runs. And um, he trains at Hollywood Park, which is a similar surface, so this is not a new surface for him. And he won the Pat O'Brien on poly track at Del Mar, so he has a little bit of this turf slash cushion slash tapita in his, in his pedigree. Pretty strong field this year too, what do you know about the other runners? Well there are a lot of nice horses and uh, it's two million dollars for a sprint race, which is by far the biggest purse outside of our Breeders' Cup. And so it's always going to be competitive. And um, I think Bob feels the horse is coming over here in good shape. And that's all we can do is handle our part. But I think we're coming into the race in good shape. And I think it's going to be tough to win like they all are. Who do you think might be your main danger? Obviously, Rocker Man won the race last year. He's in barrier one. He's got to be one of the favoured runners, I would have thought. I think he's probably a, one of our main threats. But uh, things can surprise you in these big races. Um, you know, I, at the Breeders' Cup last year, a lot of people couldn't believe they didn't have one winner over two days. When you get this many good horses in a field, anything can happen. But I, I think the factor's coming into the race in good shape. And I don't think Bob would have brought him here if he didn't feel like he had a, an honest chance to get it done. There's no doubt Bob's considered one of the, the very astute trainers around the world. Who rides the factor on Saturday? Well, Rafael Bejarano uh, rides him, and uh, he rode him when he uh, broke the, um, the 107 barrier in his maiden race at Santa Anita. So he's been on him before, he's worked him many times, and uh, we're excited he's coming over to ride him. So uh, between now and race day, what can we expect to see? Will the horse uh, have a serious hit out tomorrow, or is that it for the week? You know, I haven't looked at his chart, and um, I'd stay as far away from the management of the factor as I can, let Bob would do that. But uh, he jogged today, I know he worked on Monday. I bet he just does a little bit of something the next couple of days, and obviously uh, he seems to like it over here.